Okay, so this is our oh, this is our um, building. It's the Henry Ford plant. Um, it's supposed to represent um, the Industrial Revolution and things that have um, in labor that have to that has to go into in the industrial revolution as a whole. So um, the building is just a plant and so it's very plain and boring much like all, all of the buildings. Um, it was nothing special um, and so David is here haunting us. Um, so that it says it's a Henry Ford production plant. This is the box that kind of helps you get to where you're at, uh, help you know. Um, and then, so we're going to go on in. Oop. Okay. So on the left side are some computers. You would not see that during the Industrial Revolution. That would be more modern day um, or the start to computer age technology. Um, but on the right, that so that's in, to represent what the future could look like. The right is more of what we did here, um, and it has all of our stocked up items in these three boxes. We have the four, five furnaces, uh, and a couple of crafting tables. And so, in each of the, um, in each of these is different materials. So, right here. They have all kinds of wood sticks. So I'm going to clear some. We need those. We need that. We're going to clear some of these out. So we're going to be making swords like this, um, but we're going to have to go through the process of making it. So. So in here, too, we have coal. And lastly, we have iron ore. Okay, so as you see, here's the crafting table, and here is the furnace. So now, to represent the Industrial Revolution, you have to go through the process of actually making everything. So um, as we do it here, it's, we could think about how, how many people would be on the line shoveling coal into this furnace and getting rid of the waste and all of the other stuff that goes with it. So here we're making iron ingot. Maybe we could make a few more because as you see, we did one piece of coal and so that lasted for us for a while, which is really good. Um, but um, so we wouldn't use coal as often. But the thing is, is we have five um, furnaces right here. so. Like, again, if you think about the actual Industrial Revolution, they would all be used. Okay, so we're going to take it out of here. So those different components, okay? And we're going to go over to the crafting table. So if you go back into the actual turn in for it. Okay. Here's the crafting table. Now, with a crafting table, if you do different um, combinations, you can get um, different things to be made out of it. So here we're going to have put a couple sticks, put four sticks, and we're going to put four. Let's see where it is. That's double dipping. Now with the so many, there's so many Web 2.0s that you shouldn't have trouble finding a copy. Um, now whether they're any good, that's a whole different story. So. Okay, so we're going to put it here. So then for this, you click on the sword and then you see that it's made. So at every single time you see it being made, it lowers the amount of um, iron ingot and the, um, the sticks used. So, as you can see, it just has six attack damage. This is just for the game of Minecraft, because you can make many things. But if you think about the Industrial Revolution, the things that they were making were not nearly as complex as what they are now, but they still took a lot of man power and labor. So, Okay, so that's pretty much the basics part of the... Um, uh, plant and so we're just
go on up here. And so that is it.